The Boeing 777, introduced in 1995, became a beloved aircraft known for safety and passenger experience, solidifying its place as a Boeing flagship. Naturally, when the 777X was introduced, it was expected highly to continue this legacy, but so many reasons make it a disappointment. But why? Is this aircraft another disaster 737 MAX? Let's explore. It started with the major airlines starting to express their displeasure. Emirates Boeing. 777X's largest customer, with a staggering 262 orders, has emerged as one of the most vocal critics of the American aircraft manufacturer. Tim Clark, the airline's president, has openly lambasted Boeing, citing repeated delays that have forced Emirates to implement costly changes to its operational plans. For years, the airline has waited patiently, but each delay has only deepened operational challenges and strained its long-term strategy. However, Emirates is not alone in its frustration. The ongoing delays surrounding the 777X have tested the patience of even Boeing's most steadfast supporters. Qatar Airways, led by CEO Akbar Al Baker, has repeatedly criticized Boeing, particularly as the delays forced the airline to adjust its operational plans and incur unexpected costs. Lufthansa, one of Boeing's largest European customers, has also faced challenges in modernizing its fleet due to the repeated postponements of the 7X. Similarly, Etihad Airways had to reevaluate its fleet strategy as a result of the ongoing delays. Cathay Pacific, though less vocal in its criticism, has also raised concerns about the pushed back delivery schedule, which has impacted plans for long haul routes. These delays have not only caused frustration, but also increased operating costs, forcing airlines to continue using older aircraft that are more expensive to maintain and less fuel efficient. This has further eroded trust in Boeing and raised doubts among airlines about its reliability as a manufacturer. Recently, it was announced that the aircraft's entry into service would be pushed back to 2026, six years behind its original schedule. This single delay alone has cost Boeing an additional $2.6 billion, exacerbating the financial strain on a program already burdened with setbacks. Meanwhile, airlines like Emirates are left with no choice but to continue relying on aging aircraft, which are significantly less fuel efficient and more expensive to maintain than initially planned. These unexpected costs and inefficiencies are not just an inconvenience, they are a direct threat to the operational viability of airlines that had placed their faith in Boeing's promises. The repeated delays of the 777X are no longer merely a technical issue, they are, they are raising doubt about Boeing's ability to deliver. For Emirates and others in the aviation industry, the stakes go far beyond a single aircraft. They strike at the heart of Boeing's reputation as Dar Izawa as a reliable partner in global aviation. Once envisioned as a bold breakthrough in the wide-body aircraft sector, the Boeing 777X has now become a symbol of stagnation. Delays have pushed the first delivery nearly a decade behind schedule. As mentioned, the largest and most important customer for this aircraft has lost patience, while other airlines have gradually abandoned the once lofty expectations they had for it. The irony lies in the fact that this aircraft was once touted as the silver bullet to take down Airbus, but has now become a bitter lesson in the aviation industry. But is this Boeing aircraft truly the failure it's rumored to be? On the surface, it is seen as one of Boeing's most underwhelming projects, and what's striking is that the aircraft hasn't even officially launched. However, if we stop labeling it a failure, we can't see its amazing technology design. When this aircraft was first announced, it seemed like a dream come true, an aircraft that was bigger, more powerful, and extraordinarily efficient. But over time, that dream has turned into a nightmare. Expectations shifted to frustration, costs skyrocketed, and the aircraft remained years away from taking to the skies. But first, how well did Boeing market it? Boeing Commercial Airplanes on November 20th, 13 launched the airplane at the Dubai Air Show with 259 orders and commitments from four customers. Production of the 777X began in 2017. The first flight took place at the beginning of 2020, and the first delivery is targeted for 2022. It has two variants, the Dash 8 and the Dash 9. Moreover, it features new engines, new composite wings, and technologies from the Boeing 787. The 777X introduces the latest innovative technologies, including the most advanced, fuel-efficient commercial engine ever. In addition, one of the most talked-about features of this aircraft is its folding wingtips. 
These wingtips are designed to extend in flight, giving the aircraft a wider wingspan, improving aerodynamics and boosting fuel efficiency. Once on the ground, the wingtips can fold upward, allowing the plane to fit into standard airport gates. This clever and innovative solution to a very real problem caught the aviation world's attention and showcased Boeing's ingenuity. When Boeing first unveiled the 777X, it was seen as a bold response to Airbus and its increasingly popular A350 series. The aircraft was designed to be the next big leap in aviation, combining the success of the original 777 with cutting edge technology that promised better fuel efficiency, longer range, and increased passenger capacity. Boeing also promised to enhance passenger comfort with a wider cabin, giving airlines more flexibility in seating arrangements. Passengers would enjoy a more comfortable ride, especially on long haul flights. For airlines, the improved efficiency of the aircraft, thanks to lightweight materials and the new GE 9X engines, meant they could carry more passengers while spending less on fuel. Therefore, Boeing's marketing made it clear. The 777X wasn't just an aircraft, it was a revolution in air travel, combining groundbreaking innovations with practicality that would transform the aviation industry. It was, without a doubt, a bold step into the future of flying. But as the project progressed, cracks began to appear. The first issue was Boeing's approach. The 777X seemed to be designed around the needs of a single customer, Emirates, yet lacked broader market appeal. Many airlines are shifting towards smaller, more flexible aircraft that can serve a wider variety of routes. The aviation market has drastically evolved since it was launched, with a stronger focus on point-to-point -point travel rather than the traditional hub-and-spoke model. Additionally, the development costs of this aircraft skyrocketed, making its price tag difficult to justify for airlines. While the improvements in capacity and efficiency were notable, they failed to offset the enormous capital investment required. Boeing's vision, once seen as revolutionary, now risks being overshadowed by the economic reality of an industry that has moved on. The promise of a game-changing aircraft has been met with skepticism, as this aircraft struggles to meet the demands of a rapidly shifting aviation landscape. The second issue lies in the advanced features that once made the 777X so enticing. Powerful engines and innovative materials promised to revolutionize performance, but they also brought with them new, formidable challenges. These were not mere technical glitches. They were serious issues that could severely delay the project. As rumors about technical difficulties and mounting delays spread, the initial excitement quickly began to disappear. One of the earliest people who expressed the skepticism came from Stephen Udvar Hazy, founder of Airlease Corporation. His company had once considered placing an order for the 777X, but ultimately walked away, citing that the economic benefits simply didn't justify the high production costs. The GE 9X engines, which were supposed to enhance fuel efficiency and reduce emissions, instead faced significant durability and reliability issues, adding another layer of complexity to the already troubled project. What was once seen as a leap forward for aviation was now teetering on the edge of becoming a cautionary tale, where ambition met unforeseen setbacks. The most unsettling issue with Boeing's current strategy is the chilling resemblance to its troubled past. Opting to upgrade an existing aircraft instead of designing a completely new model echoes a familiar narrative. The aviation disaster that became synonymous with insecurity. The 737 MAX featuring enhanced engines and incremental design updates was Boeing's answer to competitors like Airbus. However, this approach led to catastrophic consequences. Two devastating crashes claimed hundreds of lives, prompting regulators worldwide to ground the entire MAX fleet. The repeated delays and revisions required to meet safety standards left an indelible scar on Boeing's reputation and raised widespread alarm among the aviation industry, investors, and customers alike. Now, by choosing to update the 777 instead of innovating a new aircraft, Boeing risks repeating these same mistakes. This approach not only introduces significant technical challenges, but also exposes the 777X to the specter of regulatory scrutiny similar to what plagued the 737 MAX. Every element of its design, production, and quality control processes could face intense examination. Even a single flaw in the upgrade process could pose safety risks, result in prolonged delays, and more critically, further erode customer trust and global consumer confidence. 
The issue extends beyond Boeing's ability to resolve technical challenges. It's about whether the company can rebuild its tarnished reputation and maintain its competitiveness in a highly scrutinized market. The shadow of the 737 MAX looms large over the 777X program, transforming it into not just an engineering feat, but also a test of Boeing's ability to confront its past and restore confidence among airlines and passengers. The implications are profound. These challenges are no longer just technical or financial. They strike at the heart of Boeing's credibility. Airlines, weary from constant delays and escalating costs, are questioning whether Boeing can uphold its promises. The once unshakable trust in the company from the aviation industry's most loyal customers is being replaced by skepticism. The 777X program is now a symbol of Boeing's struggle to reclaim its legacy, but whether it succeeds will determine not just the future of the program, but the future of the company itself. The 777X project is a symbol of the immense challenges and pressures Boeing faces in maintaining its leadership position in the aviation industry. Each delay is not just a disappointment, but also comes with enormous costs. From resolving issues in the GE-9X engine design and improving material durability to meeting the stringent standards of regulatory authorities, every aspect has driven up costs and dimmed profit expectations. What was once its attractive points, greater passenger capacity, superior fuel efficiency, and advanced aerodynamic design, are now insufficient to persuade a market that is rapidly evolving. Airlines are increasingly prioritizing smaller, more flexible aircraft to serve direct routes instead of relying on traditional hub-and-spoke networks. Meanwhile, Boeing is also allocating resources to other projects, most notably the mid-market 797 series, which is anticipated to be the company's next game-changing product. With its focus on meeting market demand for more flexible routes and higher economic efficiency, the 797 project holds great potential for attracting new customers. However, this also raises a major question about the future of the 777X. Can Boeing balance its resources between the two projects and revive confidence in this struggling wide-body line? Its future is not just a matter of technical or financial challenges, but also a significant test of Boeing's long-term strategic vision. The company faces pressure from competitors, investors, and even its largest customers. Could Boeing can reshape its aircraft development approach to adapt to a rapidly changing aviation industry? What do you think? Leave your thoughts below. Thank you for watching, and may all your journeys be safe and smooth.